Got a little bit of news today. Uh, we have a trade, and of course, this is draft season. And whenever there's a trade and picks are involved, big name quarterbacks are involved, then we must, 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 must talk about it. Come on in, have a seat. Generally, when we talk about trades in here, I want to talk about pros and cons from both sides, right? We're going to be a little fair. So we're going to talk about the Broncos side of things and the Seahawks side of things. I think we should start with the Broncos, okay? If anything, you know, the every year whoever wins the, the super bowl they get to dictate how things are going to go they get to dictate what plan is the easiest route to the super bowl right so if you win the super bowl with a whack quarterback and a good team and a fantastic defense that's the blueprint that everybody wants to do if you win it with all offense a terrible defense and an old man and quarterback then that's the vibe also um now we see the rams have won the super bowl and they took this all-in approach they they felt like they had a good little team that they were able to do some things with we're going to talk about a little more a little more about that later. They felt like they were able to do some things that, that they were a franchise quarterback away. They went to go get Matt Stafford, then boom, they have a Super Bowl. Not that that Super Bowl was easy to win or anything, but hey, it, it's the result that they wanted, so they win in that, right? The Broncos finally get their franchise guy in Russell Wilson, or at least he's a guy that they consider to be a franchise guy that can put them over the edge. If you're a Broncos fan and you're in win-now mode, then you're fine with this. There are some pieces on that offense. They got a lot of speed at wide receiver. Melvin Gordon needs to go so that Javante Williams can shine. And, you know, they got other other little pieces on defense that, you know, that they feel like they're ready to win right now, that they're a franchise quarterback away right now. Uh, they were in the Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes, but apparently the Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes isn't going to be a thing because he re-signed with the Packers. Uh, so they were kind of left with the, hey, let's go see what this Russell Wilson life is about, which is interesting. There were some other teams in the Russell Wilson race, but uh, I, I think the Seahawks wanted to get him out of the NFC so he didn't go to the Washington football teams i'm not going to call them the c word i'm going to continue to call them the washington football team so uh that's how we end up sending draft picks to uh the seattle seahawks to acquire russell wilson now we're not going to talk about every piece of this because i don't think every piece is important i don't think the drew lock piece is important um i think he's going to be a backup quarterback in seattle that's just how life is going to work for him Unless Seattle do some weird shit like doesn't draft a quarterback. We'll cross the road. We get there. Uh, I'm, we're not going to talk about Shelby Harris. He's a 30-year-old defensive lineman. Sure, whatever. Let him do what he's going to do. But the two first-round picks, two second-round picks, a fifth, um, the Broncos are going to get a fourth back if that matters to you. But then I also think Noah Fant is a very important piece of this puzzle. We'll talk about that more on the Seahawks side. But that's what the Broncos gave up, two first, two seconds. Um, a young tight end and a couple of players. So if you're a Broncos fan, then you probably, you know, you feel one of two ways about this. If you feel like you're in a Super Bowl window, then fine, you're good to go. Uh, and we're going to get Russell Wilson straight to the top. I, I think I think some some teams or some fan bases feel like if they win a Super Bowl, they can be ungrateful for the next 10 years. I feel you, but I'm a Cowboys fan, so I hear a lot about what happens in the Eagles world. You can win a Super Bowl and you can still be ungrateful and complaining within the next three years. So I don't think that necessarily gets you off the hook in the future but um you teams if if teams could win a super bowl and just put everything on the table mortgage their franchise be bad for a couple of years i think they'll do it um let's see let's see if they're win now mode i'm just looking at my notes i normally don't do notes but this ain't a cowboy production so we're just talking about things right um so i uh, got into a couple exchanges on twitter i didn't want the, well, not, not what I what I wanted or did not want because I'm a Cowboys fan. I don't care what happens to these teams, but um, what I, I just like draft picks, right? So I just didn't like the idea that the Broncos gave up so many draft picks to get Russell Wilson, and you know I, I just think a little differently about Russell Wilson. I think Russell Wilson had a pretty good offense over there in Seattle, and they didn't do much with it in, in the first place. But that's just my own personal thoughts. This has nothing to do with the uh, with the work here, but um. You know, I, I got into a couple of exchanges. I just wasn't feeling the amount of compensation given up for Russell Wilson. I feel like he probably could have got a quarterback, you know, for less, but whatever. It's not like I said, it's not about me. But some people were hitting me with the but Vach. That's what they said about the Rams, and the Rams have have a Super Bowl now. I think where this is different is that the Rams were a Super Bowl team already with Jared Goff. They just needed one 
or two extra throws to kind of put them over the edge. You know what I mean? So that's why I think this thing is kind of different. If you think that the Broncos are a Super Bowl team and they're a quarterback away, then you're you, then you can sleep at night giving away your draft picks to have Russell Wilson. Also, is if you think highly of Russell Wilson, I think the majority of the majority of us feel highly enough about Russell Wilson, but. Hey, Russell Wilson had a pretty solid offense that he walked away from with a bad offensive line. And then I would kind of imagine that he left Seattle because they weren't contributing and building that offensive line, I guess. I don't know. But if you're the Broncos, you gave up your picks. You can't draft the offensive line any, anymore neither. So um, that may be something that you have to uh, that you have to address in free agency because, you know, you'll be drafting with, you know, third round picks and on. But is what it is on the seattle seahawks side of things i consider the seahawks a team that are rebuilding yeah they just had russell wilson they don't have a franchise franchise quarterback anymore but their franchise quarterback and their team that they feel solid about got them to seven and ten you understand so with that being said does that make you a contending team or does that make you a team um that's you know, rebuilding, right? If we have Aaron Rodgers getting brand new money, I would imagine the only way that can make Russell stay is if Russell got brand new money. So ask yourself, is Russell worth that brand new money to you in, you know, comparison to where this roster is right now? If you think that this Seahawks roster can win your Super Bowl right now, then pay, um, you know, Russell Wilson his $200 million over 40 or $201 million because every next contract got to be better. Pay him his $201 million uh, for four years and Russell Wilson go take it to a Super Bowl. If you don't think Russell Wilson can do that for you, then you need to break something up and try to rebuild your squad. That's what I think the Seattle Seahawks are doing right now. And I kind of like what they're doing here if they do things properly. Um, I see some people on the internet saying shit that I can't stand. They say things like, well, but but Vodge, the Seahawks can't draft, so what are they going to do with these draft picks anyway? Well, it's not the draft pick's fault if you pick them incorrectly. It's your fault. So if the Seahawks can't, can't draft, that's not an acquiring a draft pick problem. That's a I need to fire my GM or my player personnel department problem. So that's y'all's little issue for you to work on. Um, but just kind of in general, I like the idea that hey we're the seahawks we're rebuilding now we're not gonna have to pay russell this big big money let's figure out what we're gonna do moving forward now the seahawks could have had uh two picks in the top 10 but they gave up one of those picks uh for jamal adams which kind of leads me back to this whole if you're a Cowboy fan watching now, you see why I just really don't like trading picks for players. This would have been a fantastic time. If you're rebuilding, let me just pull up Tankathon real quick. If you're rebuilding, this would have been a fantastic time to have two picks in the top 10. The Seahawks would have had pick number nine and pick number 10 back to back. This would have been a fantastic time to rebuild your roster, but you spent one of those picks for Jamal Adams and you ended up paying him, but that's y'all business it ain't on me so what the seahawks have now it's gonna feel like they didn't get a whole bunch because they didn't have a first round pick to start with you know and part of that i got a new first round pick feel comes from hey i got a new first round pick to go with my current first round pick they didn't have one of those um in this draft so now they're picking at number nine overall in which i think it'll make the most sense for them to draft quarterback there if they're gonna go into this thing with drew lock then scratch everything i just said broncos when seattle seahawks are idiots i just don't think that they're gonna be idiots about this um I think with the ninth overall pick, they're going to take a quarterback. Then they're going to take pick, pick number 40 and 41, and they're going to build that team around them. Now, what makes this thing fun for the Seahawks is, say, for instance, a guy like Malik Willis is going to be your, your ninth overall pick. Malik Willis is going to be your new quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. The fun thing about that is that he has a DK Metcalf and a Tyler Lockett to throw to and a whoever the hell you're going to run the ball with because they got guys that can run the ball. They have a solid run game in Seattle. Um so you got a run game, you have a ninth overall pick quarterback, and you have two big time receivers. Also, if Malik Willis just happens to be your ninth overall pick, the good thing about that is that he has that big arm to do deep ball things with Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. That'll be fun, right? Um, so like I said, you have those receivers, you have that that running back, but also going back to the other side is that you have a tight end now. And the Seattle Seahawks just kind of been rotating tight ends. I mean, Disley was there for a little bit. They got some other guys that caught the ball and rushed through it to him. But Noah Fant is a first round high level talent um, tight end. 
who is also a deep threat for Malik Willis if Malik Willis ends up being your quarterback. So if you do the right things, then your ninth overall pick, which probably should be or could be a quarterback, he comes into a situation where the house is built already. We always talk about building the house. Don't bring these quarterbacks into these horrible situations that they can't work themselves out of, especially if they're expected to start early. And the best thing about this whole whoever you draft that ninth overall, they don't have to start right now because you do have an NFL veteran in Drew Locke, who's one of few football games he can be your right now guy you can learn under drew lock you got receivers that you got skilled players and then with the with pick number 40 41 and you can go into the third round if you like that's where you can address your offensive line that's where you can address your defense so i just think this works because the Seahawks were going to need quarterback at some point. This puts them in a situation where they can get a quarterback and that quarterback has a fun little situation to come into. Assuming that the Seahawks do the right thing at pick number 40, 41, and whatever they end up doing third round and on. If they even have them picks, they probably sent them to to the Jets also, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, th that's pretty much my thoughts on Broncos and Seahawks. Just another element I want to add to this thing is kind of the Russell Wilson side of things, right? You know, is is he happy with the move? Did he gain anything? Did he lose anything? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's interesting because I think Russell Wilson is on a decline in his career. You know what I mean? I think he's, you know, he's at the back end of it. He's, he's considered an older guy now and... Russell Wilson's going to have to make more and more plays with his arm the, the older he gets. You know, he's not going to be run around Russ forever, you know. And I'm assuming that if he's going to be with the Broncos, then the Broncos are going to sign him to some kind of deal to keep him there for a while. So now you kind of got to ask yourself, right, is Russell Wilson still good enough to get you a Super Bowl? And the answer is, the, the, the answer is sure. I mean, you know. Matthew Stafford just won your Super Bowl, so of course Russell Wilson can win you one. But is Russell Wilson going to be the Superman that you think he's going to be? Does this team have enough pieces, um, you know, to be, you know, that supporting cast that you want for Russell Wilson? Those are the uh, the, the the questions that we're going to have to get answers to. Um, and to be fair, like like think about the situation that Russell is is leaving. He's leaving DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett to go throw to Jerry Judy and Cam Sutton. You know what I mean? You just got you just just, gotta, just ask yourself, just 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 ask yourself. Um, you know, did Russell Wilson win anything? And 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 I think the more we we go on, the more we're gonna realize, or the more information we're gonna have on what Russell was disgruntled about. And well, you know, if Russell was disgruntled, maybe he just wanted a change a change of scenery or something. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to go to where it's cold outside and where he's more cold. I don't know. He just wanted to go elsewhere uh so russell has his change of scenery is it going to be better for him i don't know we're going to have to wait for the 2022 nfl season uh to see uh who do i think won this tray i mean if you follow me on twitter then you kind of got a feel um of what i was you know of what i was thinking and, and the reason i said what i said i, I said that the I, I felt like the broncos kind of got hold a little bit because and you know maybe that may have been a little premature but i don't know but that's how i feel though right i feel like if you're the broncos and you have the opportunity to draft a young quarterback in previous years then just get one of them dudes man get one of those guys keep your draft picks and build this house continue i'm always a fan of building this goddamn house you know if you would have drafted a a quarterback last year when drafting quarterbacks was good you know or you had to you know take mac jones or um you know, uh, Justin Fields or wh whoever, whoever the hell you want to draft, those dudes would be year two guys right now. Then you'll have the ninth overall pick to draft whatever complimentary player that you want to go along with that player. Um, I think sometimes teams are afraid to really restart with these young guys, which is fine. I think young guys play bad because they, their house aren't built. Uh, their houses aren't built, but if you feel like the Broncos as a team is good enough to win a Super Bowl with Russell Wilson, then I guess you would assume that your house is good enough to, is good enough to be built. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fan of draft picks. I don't know. But who do I think won? I just think if the Seahawks are really going to rebuild this thing, I think they can rebuild it quickly with the money that they're potentially saving on the Russell Wilson thing. Drafting a quarterback at nine, you got a pretty good house for that quarterback. Then you got the rest of the picks this year to finally draft some damn offensive linemen and, you know, do some defensive things with whatever you want to do with defense. And the defense wasn't terrible. Um, but you can just, you know, add pieces to that however you feel fit. 
All right. That's all I got for y'all today, man. This is my thoughts on the Broncos Seahawks trade. I'm going to probably do a film session coming up, a, a Dallas Cowboys film session talking about how this affects our Dallas Cowboys or my Dallas Cowboys. I don't know. Y'all follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Y'all like this. Go follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Um, did I say follow me on Twitter? I just double said follow me on Twitter. Whatever. Patreon.com slash Vosh Lombardi where we watch draft film. And y'all hold it down for the Doski Walsh and the Peace Whiskey. Until next time, y'all. Mm. Thank you.